Yes, first of all, so I uh, thank to the organizer, specialist Randall, so uh, invited me to here and gave us good opportunity opportunity to uh, show uh, some recent results to you. So uh, I'm also atomic physicist and experimentalist. I just can measure the some cross section on some spectrum in laboratory. So uh, uh, some of you can find your face in this uh, poster uh, photos. So uh, uh, I realized it's just the same day, <laughs> nine years ago. <laughs> but uh, so unfortunately, we have a uh, 13 hours time shift. So that's a reason why I'm very now tired <laughs> and sleepy. So anyway, so at, at the time, uh, this is a, I was like of this symposium nine years ago. So at the time, I used a thin ion. Maybe it's, uh, I'm the first person to use a thin ion in a thin ion beam in atomic physics. So and, uh, uh, but it's uh, not so solar wind ions. And uh, accidentally, so the velocity, uh, ion velocity is uh, almost the same as the solar wind. But at the time, I, I use just uh, only EUV spectrometer. So the wavelength is about, uh, very uh, lower than uh, so, uh, X-ray. So and also the, the, the purpose of this uh, study is uh, to provide uh, some atomic data over transient wavelengths over T ions for the some uh, plasma diagnostics and also the, uh, some, um, some simulation people. So, but after this project, we moved to the astrophysics. So, about astrophysics. So, this is, uh, so about 10, 10 years ago. So, we had a first, um, meeting for joins, uh, many astrophysics. So, you can find also the many people here. So, and so, um, this is the time. today we talk about mainly so two things. So, uh, uh, total charge exchange cross section using a regarding potential method. Uh, also, we can show the uh, size, uh, state selective emission cross section using a, a solid state detector. So, and uh, finally, I have a special time to show some our recent project to observe forbidden transition lines using ion trap. So, today we talk about only the ion for the hydrogenic and bare ions target, and the ion velocity is uh, covered the uh, solar wind wave velocity uh, region and uh, much more faster than that. And the target is just the helium and the hydrogen molecule. So next step, I will go to the uh, atomic target. Atomic hydrogen should be uh, interested for you, for all of you. So in our lab, we have uh, electron cyclotron resonance ion source, a very typical one, and uh, so plasma temperature is about one, ki one mega uh, Kelvin, so we can produce uh, almost uh, every kind of the uh, solar, wind, uh, uh, solar wind ions. So this is the ion source. And we, we uh, extract the uh, ion and uh, so select the charge state by using a magnet. Oh. Doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe lack of the part, lady. Okay, so uh, after the select the charge state, so uh, we have a two beam line here and here. This is for the cross section measurement. So in a chamber, we have a very simple, uh, uh, uh. yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is a so collimator, and uh, so we have a gas cell here. So we input the target gas, and uh, we can analyze the charge state after passing through the gas cell using a very simple uh, ion retarding method. So if we change the voltage, so uh, that the current measured by Faraday cup it has a, such a structure, that means uh, we can select the, uh, each charge state. So using a very simple uh, equation, we can calculate the, a single charge exchange cross-section. 
this is a result. So the, this is the energy of ion as a cross section. And uh, this, my work is uh, uh, the solid, solid, uh, solid circles. And uh, this is a uh, very old uh, data. And also the, the cr red cross is a calculation by my collaborator, uh, Lin Liu, in, uh, in Beijing. So uh, this correspondence is not so bad for uh, oxygen 7 plus and helium and oxygen help and 82 cases. So we, in this case, we have a very old data. Also, the only one point maybe here is very greenwood in JPL. So we have a good agreement with uh, in this system. Also, a carbon fi 5 plus and helium and carbon 5 plus, plus and hydrogen molecule. So the, in this case, uh, uh, calculation and uh, our measurement have uh, some discrepancy. But even so, the, in this case, it's, it's almost perfect. So we, we have a very good agreement with the previous experiment and the theoretical result. Um, but, and this is a much interesting thing for me. So uh, we use uh, Mason as a target because Mason uh, has a, a particle ionization potential. It's, a, it's exactly the same as uh, more atomic hydrogen. So then, uh, Cross-section is uh, strongly, uh, it's, it's in the simple mind. So it's uh, just we can uh, estimate the only the ion potential. So then we can choose the Mason as a target. So uh, this view graph, so high, also the uh, collision energy and cross-sections. So other data, and it's, uh, it's a absolute value for the hydrogen atom. But uh, uh, especially so, Charlie Haber, uh, data here. So it's a very good agreement with uh, my data. So this meaning, so even only for the uh, uh, at least for the single electron processes, we can use uh, methane gas instead of atomic hydrogen. This is very important information for me. But in this case, oxygen helium. Uh, ox carbon six plus helium is not bad, but uh, ox carbon six plus and hydrogen cases, we have a very big difference between the previous and also theoretical data. So about the three times larger cross section we get. So then we need much be careful to check for the some systematic error. So then that's the reason I could not publish this data. So after checking, I'll, I'll show you uh, as a, you know, some publications. Next, we talk about, I uh, want to, to move to the uh, X-ray emission. So now we use a windowless silicon drift detector. And the effective uh, area is quite large, just a 100 millimeter square. So, uh, so yeah, apparatus is almost the same as the uh, uh, previous one, but at the time we have a very small, uh, short collision cell, and also the, we have a observation angle as a uh, 54.7 degree. It's a magic angle, but it's important quite to, uh, to get the absolute emission cross section. So, Right, uh, left side is a green data, I mean, uh, uh, JPL. So oxygen 8 plus and hydrogen. And oxygen 8 plus and helium. It's the same collision uh, uh, system. And uh, also the collision energy is all, almost the same, but it looks like very different. The reason is simple. They use a barium window. So it has a very small transmission in the low energy part. So, but we have no window here, so then we can directly calculate the relative intensity from the, this uh, spectrum. So we can decomposition, uh, de de decomposite, uh, decompose uh, the spectrum, so like similar as a uh, uh, JPR group. So, this is also uh, relative intensity of each transitions. 
So, the, so that, in this case, we use a silicon, de a silicon resin detector. It's uh, about more than four years, uh, six years ago, we, we, we measured this data. So, this have some several difference, but uh, I have not know so confident about our data. But uh, recently, we introduced uh, SDD. It has a very good resolution. So I, now we believe that this data might be much more accurate. So this is a result by uh, SDD. So you can see the query we have a, a separation might be very better because it has a good energy resolution. So clearly we can say, see the uh, helium and hydrogen molecule has a big, very big difference in a, uh, uh, three, 1s 3p transitions and 4p uh, and 1s 4p transitions and also now we can see the some small amount of the intensity here so first i could not realize why that we have such some uh, shape but now we realize it's uh, came from the double electron capture this is the transition of uh, uh, one squared and one two p transition of oxygen six plus. So, uh, I would say about a few few words for the difference with the uh, so pioneer work by uh, Greenwood and uh, other children's group and uh, our our result. So the big difference is he they use a beryllium window, but we don't have any window, and also the. Uh, they measure uh, in, in perpendicular direction, but we use uh, magic angle. Only two things we have a big difference. So, so they must you consider about the transmission. Is it a transmission curve of the 7.5 micrometer beryllium? So, you can see the ohms zero at 500 eV. So then this uh, beryllium window cannot be used for the low energy uh, photons. So, but uh, our detector has a uh, no, uh, don't need to any calibration of in, in intensity. And also the lower energy limit is about one at uh, 200 EB. So, and also the uh, in perpendicular direction, we must, they must consider about the polarization. Uh, but uh, our cases, so we use the magic angle to, to get the absolute cross sections. Also, the uh, resolution is a little bit high, uh, good for our, our cases. So, using this same detector, we measure the uh, emission spectrum in collision with the carbon six plus and helium and hydrogen. You can see the query. So, helium and the hydrogen at the same velocity. The this spectrum is a big, big difference. In these cases. So 1s3p transition is very strong. But in this case, it is very weak. Such a big difference might be useful to estimate some helium density measurement. So the reason is over the, such a big difference is uh, simply uh, understand you, uh, by the uh, calculation. Uh, this is a uh, uh, AOCC calculation by my colleague Lin Liu. So, this, his, uh, her calculation says uh, in this uh, collision system, uh, C60 plus helium cases, so dominant capture level is 4D, and also the 3P has a uh, 3D, and also 3P has almost the same value of cross section. So, that means, uh, 3D and 3S and 4F state, it's after the cascade, it's getting together a 2P state, and 2P and the 1S is the branching ratio is 100%. And 3S, 3P state, it have a small, small uh, possibility to move to the 2S. But uh, 80, 88% of the 3P state move to 1S, and uh, this is the reason 3P and 1S transition. This is a very strong uh, compared with uh, uh, 
other transitions. And also, this is a theoretical uh, calculation using uh, this cross sections. And this experimental theory, uh, theory is uh, have a very good agreement, surprisingly. And also, the similar, uh, similar uh, theoretical calculation have been done by Lin Liu for oxygen, uh, eight plus and helium and oxygen eight plus hydrogen molecule. So in this case, um, uh, classical over barrier model predict us the dominant capital level as n equal four. If this calculation is uh, agree with uh, this very simple theory. Also, the, in this cases, classical over barrier model predict n equal five is the dominant capital level, and uh, also the uh, atomic orbital cross coupling calculation gives us the same result. Using uh, these cross sections, we can uh, calculate the uh, theoretical cross section, uh, theoretical uh, spectrum. So in this case, it's except the double electron capture, so almost the perfect agreement with in the hydrogen uh, helium target cases. But uh, for hydrogen molecule cases, we have uh, some small discrepancy with the uh, experiment and the uh, theoretical. I, be, I think this is a, so AOCC treats the uh, hydrogen molecule as uh, just a one electron KSA and uh, uh, one electron uh, atom. Might be this is a problem or that some, some limitation of uh, AOCC calculation. So similar things we, ha we perform for the uh, hydrogen, hydrogenic ion, oxygen 7 plus and helium collision cases. This is a spectrum of the, of the X-ray emissions. And uh, we show the, ah, and so this is a diff different things, but uh, we show the, uh, it's not clearly, uh, ch total charge cross sections and uh, emission cross sections. In this case, uh, total cross section is a little bit larger than uh, Emission cross section. Of course, the error bar is very large. Typically, such a kind of a cross section has a error bar of 20%, sometimes 30%. So, in this case, so, uh, uh, X-ray em emission and the uh, single electron capture, including, don't forget that, including transfer ionization, not only the single, single, uh, pure single electron capture. Anyway, this ratio is about 1.1. Uh, it a it's a came from the uh, theoretical calculation by Lin Liu. So that me and also the, our data is uh, almost same. Sometimes it's, uh, this has become less than one, but uh, uh, we have a big, uh, big error over here. So, but anyway, this uh, ratio mentioned us uh, uh, Metastive, uh, some contribution of uh, metastive state to S squared uh, double S. It's a, it's a cannot uh, emit uh, any X-ray. Just, they, just only two, two photon emit at the same time. So the energy is, of a photon is a very, very low energy. So we cannot ex, um, observe using the, our detector. So this contribution is about 10%. That's a reasonable result. Our, with uh, our experimental result. But when we use a uh, hydrogen-like ion as a, as a projectile, we should consider about a triplet and singlet uh, state after the one electron capture. So singlet, uh, uh, singlet, uh, singlet, singlet capture cross-section including uh, um, transfer ionization much higher than uh, extra emissions, about uh, 10 times. In this case, also the very big difference. In this low energy region, it's uh, about close to four. So if the, um, we can believe a statistical uh, distribution, so uh, extra emission that single electron capture cross section has a ratio of about four, but uh, our results say that it's much, much larger than four. 
So, same tendency we can observe another corrosion system. It's a nitrogen 6 plus, also it's a hydrogen like, and a carbon 5 plus. So, every, almost every time, so we have a very big difference, more than close to 10. But only the uh, low energy part, and this case no data, but this part, this part here, so the, this, uh, ratio relatively close to four. That means statistical weight might be so uh, close to the real experiment. But the high energy part, so very, very much more uh, larger than four. So such a surprising uh, result is coincident with uh, uh, Philip's date calculation. It is for uh, oxygen five plus, uh, carbon five percent hydrogen atomic date, uh, tongue, and then not the same, uh, collision system, but I believe, so, such a, uh, triple signal ratio has a very far from the statistical weight. So that's the, uh, uh, highest energy in the calculation is one kilo EV per nucleum. So, this is not, at least, 4S, 4P is, uh, very far from the statistical weight. So, such a things might be happening in the another collision systems. So, this is a very simple diagram. So now we measure the only this line. So, uh, resonance line. And, uh, so we want to observe, uh, intermediate, uh, intercombination line. Also, the, this is a forbidden line in, a, in experiment. Uh, in our, in our lab. But, uh, so, it's very difficult. You know, so the lifetime of a metastable state is uh, about one millisecond. So the ion velocity is the order of the 100 kilometers per second. So times we can find, uh, find the flight length is about one kilometer. It's much, much larger than our experimental laboratory size. So we, then we need a strange ion in a trap. So we, some consideration, we introduced, uh, into the, uh, kingdom trap. It's a very long history it has, and a very simple. Just, just a wire in the center of the electrode. So, and, and the, the upper view, so a top view, so the ion, um, have a circulate, such as, several kinds of the motion is possible, but anyway, uh, this have uh, no chance hit the center wire if we, we have, have a, have a, a slower uh, voltage than uh, uh, this electrode. So, uh, quite recently, we, uh, we uh, power to the, uh, we developed the kingdom trap in our lab. So, I skip the detail. Please, uh, oh, 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 I, here we have uh, some reference, uh, in, in our, our publication is already published in a, uh, uh, review of scientific instrument and in last year. So, just to, I want to say one thing. So, uh, this is a, uh, when we use, uh, this ion trap and when we, uh, uh, stretch oxygen six plus ions. So, oxygen six plus ion intensity is decreased as a function of time. It's mainly due to the collision with uh, gas in a uh, trap. Now, uh, we have uh, some uh, background gas. Even, but uh, even so, in this case, storage lifetime is uh, about 270, uh, 270 milliseconds. It's much, much longer than uh, metastable or uh, lifetime metastable states. So I believe we accumulate, uh, we store the uh, excited state in, in the trap. We can observe uh, some photon emission uh, from the trap. But unfortunately, last year, we have many, plenty of the troubles in experimental setups. So uh, we cannot uh, do the real observation of uh, uh, trans forbidden lines, but uh, hopefully, before this summer, I, I might, might be I've observed uh, 
first uh, spectrum of a uh, Hobbian line in our lab. So this is our lab, very small, <laughs> and very and uh, what's the many too many equipment. <laughs> so actually, so at least this this area, Randall cannot enter. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. We have a crane here, so it's maybe we have, you have a, the acrobats. <laughs> anyway, so this is ion source, the analyzing gray magnet, the switch magnet, and the spectrometer line. And now we, we have a, another spe kind of spectrometer. This is the, so, uh, some setup for the measurement of the cross section. So this is the so EUV spectrometers. So two years ago, we installed here. And uh, this is the king, kingdom trap. And uh, now we have a uh, uh, SDD uh, silicon drift detector here. So it was here to measure the, uh, some spectrum. But now we move to here for preparation of a uh, uh, measurement of the Hobbiton transition. So this is a summary. And the first. So today we showed several cross data. But uh, don't believe now. <laughs> it's a very preliminary. We must check the everything. So, but anyway, so we show, we can measure the single electron, single electron capture cross section, also X-ray emission cross section. And the uh, triplet ratio, a uh, triplet and singlet ratio seems very, very, might be very, uh, uh, large. Sometimes it's a big, more than 10. So, and then we now must do the first, we must check carefully to have a, uh, some to uh, to have a so absolute cross section values for uh, charge exchange cross section and so the emission cross sections and also our observation of Hobbiton transition line with ion trap is my, uh, uh, one of my dream so uh, maybe performed uh, this uh, may hopefully next next month. And also, now we have uh, some preparation of uh, introduction of atomic hydrogen target. Or, we already I uh, purchased uh, some commercial hydrogen atomic target using a uh, 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 thermal dissociation of a very hot tungsten surface. So this is a uh, uh, intensity might be very small, but uh, dissociation rate uh, rate almost one hundred percent if we keep the very high uh, t temperature of a tungsten. So uh, hopefully we can do this, this business also um, during this year or next year. And so, but I, as I said, so we want to observe also the intercombination line, but it has a, no way to use a, such a similar technique because it's too much shorter to accumulate in the ion storage ring, uh, ion trap, but too long for observation in just a collision volume. So I suppose only one way to observe uh, intermediate intercombination line is uh, just uh, change the mind, not ion beam. Ion should be stored store at the first time in a habit. And if I inject fast ion, so, so Peter already do this using as a gas path. But uh, at the time, so collision energy is about 10 eV. It's a very, very uh, slow collision than uh, solar wind. So I, I of course, I uh, love the, his work, your work. <laughs> it's a very beautiful, but uh, to have a, uh, to keep, to, uh, have a, uh, same condition in a solar wind charge exchange. Maybe the only way is, uh, injection of a first hydrogen beam into the orbit. But if we, if we have an electron beam here, no, no way. So then, then we need, uh, use the magnetic trap mode. So, but, uh, it's not very tough. Because density of uh, H beam, neutral H beam is very, very small. I know the cross beam experiment is uh, 
usually sometimes hopeless. <laughs> but uh, I write some proposal, but unfortunately, it was rejected. <laughs> so if I get some much money, especially to have some good way to have a very strong hydrogen, a neutral hydrogen beam with a, a speed over uh, solar wind, we want to do the, such things. This, then I just show the, this idea here. So if, if you want to do the, such things, please try it with my credit. <laughs> so thank you very much. Yeah. 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 If you will keep this in trap, maybe you will see this two photon decay. Mm -hmm. It increases, if I'm not mistaken, at z to the power of 5. Yeah. Uh -huh. and in, in this case, this forbidden transition. Yeah. High z mm -hmm. will allow to measure this. Maybe it's a part of the uh, X ray background in the universe. Mm -hmm. We don't know this because highly charged ion should produce mm -hmm. that. It would be great to learn about this. Did you plan to measure uh, this? Yeah. Hydrogenic-like metastable state. Not, now I have no special idea about, but uh, okay, I try to find uh, such a way. So as, at least, so uh, uh, I also, as I said, so the our ion source not so strong. So just uh, the plasma temperature is just a one milli one milli Kelvin. So then, uh, uh, I suppose, suppose so hydrogenic. Uh, Nanoids can be produced, but the hydrogenic iron is uh, very difficult. So then, uh, uh, we, if, we, if we try to have some uh, to improve, improve ion, our ion source, so we want to do the such things as a as a, it's a very uh, so fundamental so atomic physics work. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good night. Point. Uh, comment. Other questions? This is amazing stuff. I've, I've never you know. Hmm? Uh, made some major major advances. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Any further questions? Any theorists want to jump in with the? Uh, uh, we would like, but uh, <laughs> well, yeah, okay, sure. Um, it, it is very exciting developments, and uh, I mean, we spoke six months ago in uh, uh, in Tokyo mm. on the subject, and I'm also delighted to see all this great progress. So when you and, and also, you know, having a hydrogen target with 100% dissociation is, is, is a fantastic development. Mm. What sort of experiments are you planning to do on atomic hydrogen first? Yes, I, I do the, some collision experiments. Just, just, uh, so, uh, so in this case, the hydrogen atom is uh, not a beam, just a flow of gas. Mm -hmm. So the density is uh, not so small. So then uh, if we prepare the hydrogen gas and uh, Hits uh, such a kind of the hydrogen ions, we can observe uh, extra emissions. So to get get the absolute body body is a little bit difficult, but uh, maybe also we can have some uh, uh, for something so calibration of intensity and the density, and uh, we want to observe uh, uh, exact so, uh, so uh, such a kind of the. Uh, X-ray spectrum, spectrum using the atomic hydrogen. So I, I focus on that. It's a very important thing. So <laughs> every data is uh, measured by my students, uh, Hiroshimaya and uh, Takuya Ishida. Uh, fortunately, these two very good students uh, uh, graduate from the university and go to those companies. Uh, also, the Sofia universities, we have uh, some collaboration. So, uh, Professor uh, Okada, he is a specialist of the ion trap, and he ma made a uh, kingdom trap. And uh, uh, he, uh, Naoki Numata, is uh, now uh, moved to our, our university as a PhD candidate. So, he worked very, very hard. And also, the Rin Liu and uh, Jango Wang. So, Jango, uh, Jango Wang is a postdoc of uh, Phil. So, more than 10 years ago, yeah. 
Yeah, and so we have a very good collaboration with. And also the in our team, you have a many so uh, important astrophysicists. So we have collaborate just just so discussion with uh, some possibility or importance of the, some atomic data. So so thank you very much. Measuring, uh... That wasn't just a question. I could, no, I could answer to it because it's pressure to me. <laughs> and you see, in space, you have a chance uh, to see this, maybe, if it's no collision, no perturbation, because 2S and 2P, they're generated. Easy to mix this, yeah, by magnetic field. But 2P decay suddenly, resonant transition. In this case, because state is generated, yeah, it should be absolutely empty space. Weak magnetic field may prevent yeah, in space, but in lab, yeah, certainly any collision, even electronic long range collision, just uh, quench this uh, to P and that's all. In this case, maybe they have a condition which allows to measure. For high Z, it would be relatively fast process. Uh, and to see this, it's continuous spectrum. It's not two photons with half energy, no. You will have a specific continuous spectrum. Yeah. It's very recognizable, 